Boys, we are back for another Dokkan Battle video. Today we're going to go ahead and do another one of the Red Zone No Item Sweeping Challenges. Uh, and we're going to be doing this against Golden Cooler uh, to start with. You know, this is the Dragon Ball Heroes Red Zone. Now, Golden Cooler, um, he could be sort of a tough fight, I guess. Like, kind of, sort of, right? Um, because Golden Cooler, like, he, he just is sort of a generic... I, I, I think he's just kind of like a generic tough enemy. Um, I don't know that there's anything really more to Golden Cooler than he's just strong, right? Like, he, I, I think he's sort of like a weaker version of Janemba. Um, but, like, you know, th this DBZ Bardock team here, like, we have real options available to us. It's not like, you know, th this is, I, I think, like a low-level team or anything. Because remember, on this team, every single Goku in the game uh, is on the 200% on this team, right? All Gokus are. So, it's like we can run pretty much a full Goku team with Bardock, and all these Gokus are going to be essentially full power. So, that does allow this team, I think, to work very, very effectively. Um, now, you know, in some fights, uh, I think the fights are sort of designed in a way where the team Bardock members can really put in work. Um, I do think that this is one of those fights, right? Um, in this fight, I think Fasha and Tora are decent options to sort of hold up. Right, Fasha, remember, you know, as she builds up, she could do pretty good damage and her defense can get pretty high. Once her guard wears off, she's not the craziest defensive unit ever, but she at least can tank normals, right? And then combine that with the fact that this is a pretty short fight, right, just two phases, um, we're going to have Bardock scout her up pretty much the whole fight, which will really help us. Um, I actually brought Int Fasha as well. Now, Int Fasha is a funny unit in that I think she can be decent. It, you know, like, taking her against Golden Cooler, whose toughest phase is tech, um, I feel like Int Fasha is fine. Remember that Int Fasha, if for whatever reason you have her in slot 1, when she dodges, she gives a pretty substantial support buff after she dodges. So that's another thing we potentially could do with Int Fasha, but she just sort of um, is able to handle business, um, you know, on these teams. Uh, so there we go. There is the Golden Cooler fight. Um, I, I feel like Bardock's team is a really good matchup for this fight, so I wasn't really too concerned. Um, and then, of course, we've got this guy, the god, Kid Goku. Now we're moving on to the Foo fight. Um, I feel like this fight actually could be a little bit difficult for us. Uh, only because, remember, Foo can do his ceiling. And then Foo's final phase is Int. Which puts Bardock at a disadvantage. But the thing is, remember, with Bardock, right, we have that scouter of his. And we got really good RNG in that we have a DBZ Bardock in slot 3. I probably misplayed right there by leaving Bardock on rotation. I don't think I was properly paying attention. I should have floated Bardock off right here. But um, we have the Scouter up probably the entirety of this fight, right? Because we're going to have the Scouter all the way up until turn 7 because we had Bardock um, in slot 7, right? So that's going to be really, really, really big for us. Because, um, you know, this fight and the Golden Cooler fight, just two phases, really not too bad. Uh, this is a fight where characters like that physical Super Saiyan Bardock and then physical Fasha can really, really go absolutely crazy in this fight as well. 
So, I, I mean, this one's just really not too tough, right? Um, Fu could, I guess, completely crush Bardock, but the fight is short enough and we have the scouter up that it's not like, like, we're not going to get caught by Fu, right? Because we, we're going to know where his super attack is. So it's not really, I guess, too much of an avenue for us to, to lose here, really. I, right? Like, we're, we're just, we're just going to cook Fu. Um, you know, again, his ceiling can be annoying, but scouter, man, guess what? The scouter, uh, is really, really strong. So with the scouter, uh, we are good to go. Alright guys, now we're moving on to the fight against Super Saiyan Cumber. Now, Cumber, I would say, is definitely the hardest of the three fights. Um, but we should be good to go against Cumber. We, we you know, again, we, we have a lineup of characters that can handle their business well. Um, I actually brought LR UI Goku for this one. Uh, UI Goku, of course, is a fantastic option for a lot of these red zone fights. Uh, that's not Broly or Android 13, right? Because, I mean, you guys know the deal. When it comes to these bosses these over a million damage super attack bosses, most characters can't take these super attacks. And even characters who can guard them incredibly well, they, they're they prone to taking a decent amount of damage as well. So that's where like dodge characters like UI comes in really, really nicely. UI with uh, like good RNG, he could triple super triple crit with his very powerful super attack effect, right? Don't forget that him and Oh, our Evolution Blue Vegeta, they get the 50% crit chance on super attack. And then any additional supers that they do are guaranteed crits, which, again, is a pretty powerful mechanic, honestly. Um, then, going through here, right, just remember that DBZ Bardock, he builds up as he super attacks. Um, on this fight, we had both Bardocks in turn two. So we'll have the Scouter up until turn six. Uh, Carnival Goku, I mean, we know how good he is, how he guards, how he stacks, how he has his revive. Um, Kid Goku with his damage reduction support, right? Like, we, we should be able to cook pretty well in, in the, um, uh, this fight against Cumber here. Now, the one thing we do want to be careful, of course, remember, Great Ape Cumber here, he can do a lot of damage with his AoE normal attacks, um, but he gets a, an attack buff after he super attacks. But, like, if we notice right here, right, like, we'll, we'll be able to sort of set up a little bit before he supers, and then he'll do additional damage on his uh, Great Ape normals, right? Because, again, the Great Ape normals, like, if you're running STR characters, which a lot of times is a good idea since, you know, Cumber's final phase is physical, um, what you're going to be able to do, right, is sort of, you know, uh, you might have STR characters, and if uh, Great Ape Cumber super attacks first, then does the AoE normal, you know, he, he could do extra damage. Notice that's another super attack dodged. I just, I would like you guys to keep a note of that every video. We're dodging super attacks, man. You know, it is what it is. Um, but there we go, right? Like, we, we just have the team, we have the horses, we have the setup um, to just really be able to go in here and completely dominate Cumber. So, uh, let me know what you guys think of the Dragon Ball Z Bardock team uh, sweeping the Dragon Ball Heroes red zone. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.